freshman from Atlanta, puts toe to leather, and we're underway. Jones on the return for Virginia. 15, still dancing his way, gets out to the 18th. Tavares Kelly, check that on the return. Maybe a big pileup here. Could the ball be out? Duke sideline says it is, but he kick off. Wow, what a huge play right off the bat by Duke in this coverage unit. It looked uh, like maybe 96 Chris Rumpf got down there. One of their all-star pass rusher DNs ripped it out. Ruling on the field. His play is on the further review. Don't give the Jackson. He's bet the backfield. Slow down enough. Finally, the stop made after big old 91. Mandy Alonzo came in and crashed. Nelson finally bringing down Jackson on the board. The Blue Devils. Deion Jackson met by Alonzo in the backfield. Cleaned up by Nelson. Blue Devils go up three. Charlie Ham on a 25-yard attempt. Good snap, good hold. Kick is straight through the uprights. And Duke following a Virginia turnover on the opening kickoff. Possibly look for Terrell Janna, number 13. To the top of your screen. Going to the bottom of the screen. Fade up. Tried to hit the big freshman Lavelle Davis, junior 6'7". Empty backfield for Bryce. Pressure coming on the edge. He gets rid of it. Completes the big tight end, Noah Gray. Eric Wood told us to look out for this kid. He's going to be involved in this offense all day long. Third and nine for Bryce and the Blue Devils. Bryce with time, overshoots his receiver down the left sideline, though, Jake Bobo. And in order for this UVA defense and Nick Howell to call the plays he wants to call, that secondary needs to be healthy and covering guys well. Porter Wilson punts this down to... Billy kept the fourth, makes the fair catch at his own eight-yard line. Everybody on this Virginia team is tall. It's amazing. Armstrong's going to keep it, find some room, and he'll pick up close to a first down. Looks like he may pick it up. Where number 13 is, they like to get him the ball early. Instead, Armstrong's going to keep it and try and get it on his own. Slips one tackle. And he's going to be close to the marker. Nash Griffin to punt for Virginia on fourth and one. Coach Mendenhall opting to punt it away. Fair catch made by Calhoun this time, and he makes it at the 27. So another opportunity to check out Chase Bryce in this Duke offense. Thanks, Steve. You can certainly see the stands. Social distancing. But able to get here to watch the game. And quarterback and running back go separate ways. A little mis uh, misdirection there between uh, Mateo Duran and Chase Bryce. Some confusion ends up in a loss. Second down. Boy, Chase Price thought he might have fumbled, so he looked like he might have just kind of run off the field. Forward progress stopped before the ball came out. He's in the slot. Top of the screen, they hand it off to Durant. Bangs his way close to that first Good. down marker. What a big hit. Zandier was there, Nick Jackson. Yeah, it looked like Durant had some momentum, and it was stopped immediately. So another four down, another three and out. And Porter Wilson running it back to Billy Kemp, who makes the fair catch. They're dueling fair catches here on punts. At some point, they're just going to have to let the quarterbacks throw the ball. Armstrong's going to look to throw it here as he rolls to his left. Nice right on target that time to Kemp. <laughs> Chris, doesn't that look kind of weird? Rolling out to the left. I mean, I think the extra couple weeks they had with the delayed games helped them get in a rhythm. Second down and seven. Plenty of time. This time hits Kemp again over the middle. Past midfield and into Duke territory with another Virginia first down. See Duke's defense walking around. He can bring pressure from anywhere. Talapapa out of the backfield and he can't quite squeeze. There's Talapapa and Terrell Jan in the backfield. Now Jan in motion. Armstrong looking that way. Instead he goes to a secondary read. And it's incomplete and Duke will take over. Duke, I wouldn't be in such a hurry, but they are. Rice over the head of his receiver. He's a little off target. As he tried to get it to Dale yeah. Harding Jr. Now Dave Cutcliffe. And he's just known for being kind of a wizard with these quarterbacks. He's coaching up Chase Bryce on the fly. Real life game time situation. Second, second straight three and out. Need the snap. They get it off on third down. Armstrong quickly. He misfires too as Kent came out of his break. He was open. 
Empty backfield here on third down. Both teams combined. One for nine on third down. There's a conversion right there. Finding the big tight end, Noah Gray. He didn't have as great a season last year as he wanted, but he's already started this one off in a great way. Pressure picked up. Over the middle, that's going to be a score. Marweedy is going to take it to the house for Duke. Jake Marweedy with his first catch of the year, and it's six. Line up in that tight end flex position. You see him in the slot to the top of your screen as he starts this route. Good job stemming inside and then flattening it out. See Joey Blunt lean so far over to the side of Javante Robertson, the wide receiver at the bottom of the screen, that just absolutely no coverage. Final minute of this first quarter. Armstrong, Poljan, tries to break free of a tackle, cannot, but he picks up a first down. Lummy Young was there to make the stop. Clock Eastern right here on the ACC Network. Armstrong keeping it himself. I mean, yeah, 14 years old. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, and it's in Northern Ohio. Like Shelby, that, their football power. He composes himself and has such confidence in the way, you know, he carries himself. He's going to tuck it and run here. No, now he throws. Keeps his head upfield and finds a receiver. And that's Lavelle Davis, the freshman, making his first catch as a member of the Virginia Cavaliers. The time he's gone to Lavelle Davis, this time he actually got to plant his feet. These are, I mean, just look at the... Some time at wide receivers, so keep an eye on 99. The rare now number the 99, slide. a wide yeah. receiver. He give those to Talapapa. Picks up the first down. So wound up with 99 at quarterback. That's pretty cool, though. If I had to have one of those random numbers, I think that's one I'd like to have as a quarterback. Armstrong has room. Tries to leap a defender. Can't get out of the grasp of number 23, Lummy Young, but he does pick up a first down. Jan in motion. Fake to Talapapa. He'll lead Armstrong to the goal line and the score. Well, if there were any questions about whether Brennan Armstrong could come in and operate the same offense that Bryce Perkins did last year on this drive, using his legs multiple times, but also setting up his blockers, and he's not going to maybe break a 60, 70 yard run. Second down and seven. Bryce now to pass, steps up. He'll be dropped. Noah Taylor. Carter gets a half sack as well. He'll bring up third and long. Third comes off the edge, even gets chipped by Deion Jackson. Great job using his hands, working inside. I love what Noah Taylor does off the edge. Ball out of your hands fast. Empty backfield for Chase Bryce. Here comes the pressure. Backs up, try to connect with Bobo just over his head. Boris Kelly back to receive this Porter Wilson kick. Fair catch made at his own 47. That's where Virginia will take over when we come back. Down three. Don't stick out his sore thumb. Be Sorry. brutal. Armstrong going to keep it again. Dances his way to pick up just a couple. And get something out of it. Then Fry there to make the stop for the Blue Devils. So what could be a second scoring drive here as we get close to the red zone. Talapapa, straight up the middle, has room, inside the 10, bangs his way inside the 5, down to the 3. Green past you and break tackles, watch Talapapa lift his feet up on contact, break through some of these tackles. Now Armstrong under center. He'll give to Talapapa, tries to find his way to the end zone and does. Just wrestles his way across that goal line. 12 touchdowns on the ground last year for Talapapa. It's the 2020. Shaka Hayward fills this gap nicely, but that leg drive by Talapapa gets him into the end zone. And... Bryce with time, has a receiver, the 45, makes a move outside. That's Phil Yaw Johnson. And another big play for Dukes. So now back into Virginia territory. Last year, Duke didn't cross the 50-yard line. Mark Hewitt outdid the game until midway through the third quarter when the punter fumbled the snap and picked up and ran for his life. It's going to be open at some point in this game. This time Jackson lowers his shoulder. 
He picks up the first down, still churning his feet. You see Cam 56 on the edge, third down and 10 for Duke. Pressure again comes from Virginia. And Bryce will be dropped. This time it's Richard Bernie who picks it up. A tradition to get to break a rock, which is the idea of starting to chop down a mountain. He was the one to break the rock at the end of this summer. Right up the, at the edge of his range, so Coach Cutcliffe opting to go for it on 4th and 13. Virginia will bring pressure again. This time Grace, Bryce escapes, tries to go downfield, and it's incomplete. Doesn't look like Brennan Armstrong's really picked on the corners too much, and the backups have been playing well. Stacked formation here, and back in Armstead. Backup quarterback lining up at receiver. Be a good player for them in the future. Fresh set of downs for Virginia. Armstrong, plenty of time over the middle. Hits his tight end, Poljan. That's a first down. Look from his point of view. There's just a slight opening right there where he can place it in. The first two years was a quarterback and a tight end at Central Michigan. Simpson, good room to roam. First down for Virginia on this Duke defense. Yeah, they are. They're getting good combination blocks by their offensive line up front. Saw Ola Shigun. Top of your screen, split wide. Tyler Papa, spinning. Still churning his feet. Still going. Big run by Tyler Papa. Coming with some pressure now, going to one of his tall receivers in the corner of the end zone as the receiver and the cornerback battled for position. LaBelle Davis was down there fighting for it with Leonard Johnson. 32-yard attempt, and Brian Delaney, he's hit 13 straight going back to last year. Now a third and four, let's see if Virginia brings pressure. They do, stunting on the outside, but Bryce has time. Will he make a pay? And a great interception! D'Angelo Amos with a great pick, and Virginia set up once again in Duke territory. That pass, him on the right side of the screen, just really coming in behind that deep slant route. Not enough air under the ball for Chase Bryce. And big turnover for UVA. Reviewing the play to see if Amos came down with it. Transfers all over the field making an impact. You know, there are two of them on this Virginia defense that transferred in from James Madison. Third and ten for Armstrong and the Cavaliers. Talapapa there to pick up the blitz. Now Armstrong going deep down the left side. Another fantastic job in coverage. And it's intercepted by Duke. Leonard Johnson is there to get the football back to the Blue Devils. Pick up for stealing which is UVA's move, but why, you know, look at the pressure. Good job initially by the offensive line, but then Dwayne Carter just leaks through. Such a good job in coverage, not biting on the double move, understanding the yard to gain, and then going up and high-pointing the football. He's a, he's a guy who is just a natural athlete. He holds the Duke defensive back record. Virginia continuing to bring just four. Price underneath. Calhoun with the catch. Or off these wide receivers. Maybe a quick out route to just to set up third and short. Nice flush. Now he'll be sacked. Noah Taylor got to him. Watch when you're in empty sets. You only have five blockers and just way too long. You're not helping your offensive line out at all by providing that much. I know Eric Wood. You don't really care about leadership. You just want to play football and hit people. You saw him do that there. Third and ten. This is not where Duke wants to be. Pressure from Jackson. But a completion out toward midfield. That's Calhoun. Still on his feet. Spins away from the tackler and gets into Virginia territory. That's a big third down pickup. Pressure. A little bit of miscommunication on the outside. But kept the running back and tight end in to block. And they freed up Chase Bryce to be able to step up on target and to his wide receiver. Right at midfield now, the fake to Jackson. Bryce again throwing this time to his left, hitting Bobo. I believe that's the first time Bobo's made a catch tonight. Monte Cross rides him down, but another good pickup for Duke. Empty backfield now on third and seven. Barwini in motion. That ball tipped at the line of scrimmage, never got to his intended receiver. It's like Snowden got those big mitts on it. 
47 yards. Got the distance and the accuracy. Got ourselves a four-point game here in Charlottesville. Reliable wide receiver, Jan, at number 13 in the slot. Looking for Kemp coming across the middle. They hook up. Kemp still on his feet. No whistle yet. And that'll be a first down. Armstrong. Got to get it to his running back and does, but Simpson can't keep his feet. That shot to Hayward was there to bring him down, and he'll bring up fourth down. First down for Duke from their own 15. Jackson, who lined up outside on the screen, and he's going to lose the yard. Great work by these young men on this UVA campus. Third down for Chase Bryce. Has a receiver open, and they cook. They hook up. Just shy of midfield. Junior on the receiving end. A big young target for Chase Bryce. And he was going against Nick Grant, number one at cornerback. Duke's own 15 yard line now crossing midfield, getting into striking position. Quick out. Marweedy trying to find that first down marker, and he spins and gets there. Once again, putting a drive together. Bryce trying to go downfield into a lot of traffic, and just as I say that, he throws a pick. Seemed ill-advised on that pass, Mark, and Brenton Nelson made him pay. Confidence in your wide receivers, a little bit of pressure up front by Richard Bernie, and just you know, throwing in to double, really almost triple. Replacing Bryce Perkins, the all-time passing and total offense leader in Virginia history. Armstrong has time, tries to float it, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 10-yard line and brought out at the 8-yard line. That's Rocky Shelton. In a stunning turn of events, Duke is right back in the red zone, trailing by just four. Great jam on the wide receiver, deterring his route. That's the, that was the Terrell Janna. Got a great jam on Terrell Janna. Job opportunistic by Rocky Shelton. Bryce now with an empty backfield, has time over the top, hits his tight end, Noah Gray for the score. Really, really good play call. First year starting, really impressed by what he can do physically and mentally. Janet, can he get the first down? He stretches for the marker, I think he got it. He did. Let him clearly switch to the other side. But a first down for Virginia. Nice move by Talapapa. That's from running on the sand. Talapop on that last run. Good cut, bouncing outside. I mean, so this is going to be... Umpire. This will be up at 3 a.m. Virginia 4 for 12 on the day on third down. Armstrong flushed. Sidearm throws it. Dangerous. And it goes incomplete. Uh, you know, maybe on ESPN or ESPN2. The ACC Network gives you the opportunity to see all of those spring sports. and Great sports, fun to watch. Nice run on first down by Duke. That's Durant. He's able to pick up a first down. So I'm dip that that shoulder down, that right shoulder. He just excels past Joey Blunt. Ooh. Deion Jackson now back at the tailback spot for Duke. Fake to him. Bryce is going to try and go up top. Try to get to Pankhold. There's a flag on the play. He was held. Not as, as accurate as he needs to be on these ones in this game. Jackson, first to the hole, has a lot of room, stays on his feet, inside the 25, down to the 22. Just before Matt Gamble was able to bring him down. Number 63, Jason Jacob Monk, the right guard. To be a double pass, but Calhoun's in a little bit of trouble here. Now he throws downfield, dangerous pass, and it's intercepted. Nelson made up for the holding call by picking this one off and getting it back to Virginia. Nelson with the INT. He was shaped, you know, he bobbled the initial lateral and then he was in trouble from the start. Just too much pressure. Yeah, Nick Grant you know, really just worked through the block of Noah Gray to get in, in the face of Jalen Calhoun. And watch at the end of this play. After he throws the ball, just couldn't tell the number of who hit him, but whoever hit him hit him very hard. 
And he was in a compromising position, too, having just thrown the football. A very good season. Final minute of this third quarter. Tomapapa through the hole. Gain of about seven on first down. Simpson in motion. He'll be on the receiving end. As a man to beat. Can't do it, but he does pick up solid yardage. Now Talapapa in motion out of the backfield. Duke stunning up the middle. Has Jana open at midfield. Brought down to the 48. It'll be a first down into Duke territory. Good throw, stepping into the pressure, completing a long ball down the field. Armstrong, now he's going to be dropped. Dima Keiji finally got him, Mark. Flanking him in the backfield. Look to throw. Puts it up, trying to find his big receiver again. This time he does. No question about this one. Lavelle Davis brings this one down. A big game. He looped around and was getting some pressure, but after that little clutch, just threw it up there. And it really got the, probably a miscommunication with the wide receivers, both in the same spot. But. Papa staying in the protect, going to the big receiver again in the end zone. And he comes down with it. What a catch by Davis. <laughs> well, the 800 Virginia fans are cheering loud because I can hear them. I can hear them through my headset and Armstrong to continuously go back to him over and over again. But this is a ball that, oh, and he got that foot down. Rice quickly outside. Seaver makes the catch and stays in bounds. Picks up an extra couple of yards. Third and five. Pressure comes up the middle. Rice gets it off and it's intercepted. Joey Blunt picks it off and gives it right back to Virginia midfield. First down. Obviously a lot of football left to play, but you see the length that Charles Snowden brings. His big 6'7 body forces that. Empty backfield on third and one. Sorry, not the first down. Pole jam. Oh, he almost stayed on his feet, but he does pick up the first. Hands on their hips. Woods picked up. Armstrong connects again with Davis. Can he get into the end zone? He does! What an effort! Welcome to Charlottesville, LaBelle Davis Jr. Welcome to Charlottesville. Welcome to college football. This is the best throw that Brandon Armstrong has thrown the entire night. It's a wide comeback route by his wide receiver. He puts it on target. And man, LaBelle Davis fighting off tacklers, spinning into the end zone. Second and ten, Snowden showing pressure on the edge. Now stunts inside. Picked up, though. Bryce has time. Now he's sacked. Jawan Briggs got him. That was a coverage sack. Briggs, he's a guy who was a true freshman last year, played a lot. Coaches were so impressed by how he worked in this offseason, came back even better, and just looked really fantastic. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Pressure coming. Bobo steps up. Bryce has a man downfield. Unfortunately, he overshoots him, and that's intercepted. Nick Grant. Lurie in the fourth quarter getting his completion percentage up over 50%. Nice catch. Kent made a really nice grab on the sideline. Oh, boy. Holmberg was just met. Satterfield. Quarterback sneak here. He's under center. Fourth and one. Oh, he fumbles the football on the fake. Ball still down on the ground. Picked up by Virginia. And the Hoos will have it at the 10-yard line. Center that this is the first time Duke has gone under center the entire game. We expect him to take the snap from Will Taylor, a guy who you know, just not as used to taking snaps from. And it's all in his head and got the snap and just you know, he dropped it. So good play defensively. It it's going to throw another go out there to the belt. 
Talapapa. Inside the five. Keeps churning. Keeps churning inside oh the two. My Into the end goodness. zone. Wow. Wow. That's that's impressive. They got all the plays that Bronco Mendenhall is going to show to his team tomorrow. This quite possibly could be his favorite play. Watch the offensive line just get in there and push behind Wayne Talapapa. And you talk about finishing. In order for UVA to take that next step in terms of their progression as a football team, they need to finish correctly. Great job of the finish there. And COVID has wrecked their program through the month of September. And up until today, they were figuring out if they could even play this game tonight. And they're down a lot of players and two coaches, like I mentioned. You hate to see, especially at the end of the game, this happening. But it looks more like a hyper extension than really getting twisted up on. It can hurt just as bad. Even a, a bang. He banged it, grabbed it right away. It's tough to see. He's, He's in obvious pain. The concussions. Catching it. Again, hits Garner. Well, Jesus Christ, you know, he came in and he knew he was going to have to win the job and he was a, named the starter after about you know a month of being here, but you know, he, he talked about the competition, lack of offense that we've seen in the first three weeks. It could lead to an early change. Katrinic trying to look downfield, and he's brought down. Gam was there. Gam's had a big day, too. Katrinic staying in there. And a play fake. Now running out of time, and he'll get sacked. Nick Jackson's had a great game. He doesn't have that same experience. He's able to really use his talents well. Good job coming around the edge. He's going to be a bright spot on this team as only a true sophomore for many years to come. The dump off pass to Kelly. He's going to get dropped in the backfield. It seemed like he just let loose, and it was really good to see Ended up with a pretty good day in terms of numbers. Yeah, it ended up being not a terrible day in terms of the numbers, even though the first three quarters, it, it didn't look like it was going to end up this way. You know, maybe a little bit like Bryce Perkins did, but I think what Brennan Armstrong did today was prove that you don't need to have another guy come in to have those plays be effective. He can do it himself. Bobo bobbles the punt. And another on the muff, Virginia, yeah, another turnover. Virginia covers up. It has just been a nightmare fourth quarter for the Duke Blue Devils. We'll do it. You know, I think what we learned about Virginia is they do have some firepower on offense. They did not lose everybody. And Brennan Armstrong, if he can get a rhythm, he can really produce. And, and Duke really needs to hold on to the football. They cannot win games turning it over this much.